All right, water filtration stuff. Very cool. So, so I live here in Fort, North Fort Myers area. Um, our water is is okay. I know we we're looking at homes in well water areas and, and things like that. I imagine with all the wells here, you do a lot of filtration. I hear I hear it's got sulfur in the water. Depends on how deep your well is. You will either have uh, iron or sulfur. Okay. And so when it comes up, if, if you is there a different way you treat it? If you've got iron versus sulfur? Yes, sir. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay. And so iron would be based on depth. Yeah. Iron, you usually, uh, you get iron on uh, shallow wells, and you get sulfur from deeper wells. Okay. And on a, so like a 300-foot well is what I hear is the norm? It should be sulfur. I mean, if, it, if you're going to have anything, it'd be sulfur. Yeah. Like out on Captiva Island and that kind of stuff, too? You, uh, you got, usually have city water out there. Uh, North Captiva has, has, okay. has wells. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, and... And then, so what would you recommend city water versus well water on a filtration system? Well, if you have city water, we have a KDF 55. It's a water softener with carbon and KDF 55. That'll give you pretty much bottled water quality throughout the house. It takes out the minerals and the chlorine and the chemicals. Okay. Why do they send us hard water in the, in the tap? Well, they treat it with a reverse osmosis usually, but then they have to add a, a calcite, minerals to, to kind of... It, our water is uh, acidic. It's aggressive. So to make it more mild and not so harsh on your plumbing, they add a calcite, which is minerals, back to the water. Now, what do you recommend? I know there's a lot said about alkaline water being healthy. Um, all in what you believe. So, is there a filtration system that handles that, or do you have just have to go with an al alkaline water? Uh, they have alkaline system? machines, and they also have alkaline filters. Expensive, but they have. Them. Okay, and so an alkaline filter could go in one of these other filtration systems. It'd be a post filter, like for your reverse osmosis. It'd be a filter up here. Okay. Alkaline to the water. Okay, and so is is this? something like you would put in your home? This is a display, it's a reverse osmosis. It's a 50 gallon per day, four stage R up. So this goes underneath your sink, toss it on top for cooking and drinking, and you tee it off and go to your refrigerator for ice cubes and cold water dispensers. So if I'm thinking about costs for eliminating bottled water, uh, how many bottles of water am I gonna pay for to get this system in? <laughs> it's 295 installed unless you have a granite countertop. If I have to uh, grind through a granite countertop, it's 45, back, uh, 45 extra dollars. That's not bad at all. I've been doing it for 26 years. Wow, it used to be more expensive. Uh, just like anything. Something comes out new, like the flat screen TVs. They're a bunch of money when they first came out, and now they're not so expensive. Very cool. And reverse osmosis, how does that process work compared to like distillation or something else? What's it doing? Well, this is it's a, goes through a semi-permeable membrane, and that's what that looks like there. The material in it is similar to old Kodak film, basically. It's called a thin film composite membrane. Water is uh, reduced to very small um, microns before it can get through the, the uh, membrane. Okay. Bad water goes down the drain, the good water goes through your holding tank. From your holding tank it goes through a uh, post filter to your RO. And that's how many gallons there? This is a three, three and a half gallon holding tank. But you can produce 50 gallons a day. 50, yeah. So the recovery rate uh, is a half gallon every, uh, I'm sorry, a gallon every half hour. Okay. For drinking. It's and all on the size of your membrane. So. Now, how effective is that if we have a hurricane and the water becomes polluted some way or is not working right? Or All you need is at least uh, 42 pounds PSI to make this work properly. It all works off water pressure. And would I have the same success in my water taste and, and whatnot if I... Um, if I used rainwater with a system like this? Rainwater is pretty soft as it is. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd have to say you see your system out. Um, Do you have or would you just on it right now? Or? No, I'm, would you would you just add a basic filtration or would you add something like this to that? Uh, well, I'm not, it depends on where your rainwater is coming from. If it's coming from your roof into a holding tank, yeah, because you don't know what's on your roof or what's flying over your roof, landing on your roof. Uh, and and I, I think most people's perception of what happens when you catch water, rainwater, you see those 55-gallon uh, barrels or whatever people decide to use for, for rainwater catchment, and they think, well, what if after a hurricane I had to use that for, um, 
for drinking water, um, how long does it take? You know, we all see water that starts to get mold around the edges and things like that. So what do we do to pre prevent that? How do we keep the water healthy? Like the city, they put chlorine in the water to kill any bacteria or algae or, you know, they put chemicals in the water to send it to us. So you put chemicals in the water to send it to the tap, and right before the tap, you get the chemicals out with this. That's the idea. Okay. That sounds good because, yeah, we all we all complain about the fluoride and the chlorine and all that in the water. Again, some people believe in fluoride, some people don't. Some people believe in alkaline water, some, you know, so to each his own. So, and it could be a combination of all, like, um, you get the fluoride, it helps your teeth, it hurts your body, so, you know, which way do you go, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Gotcha. All right, and um, what's your business? This is a list of everything that takes out, and that's my business, in on water. Takes out calcium, sodium, magnesium, potassium, all this stuff. It can't differentiate good or bad. It takes out everything. Very cool. And Lynn Water and, and you, how long you been here? 26 years. Wow. That's a long time. So you've been, you know what you're doing. You get a lot of practice, yes sir. Very cool. I'm always ex I'm excited to run into things like you here. You don't always expect at a flea market to run into staple businesses, but here they have that. It's good, expo you know, good exposure. You know, people are just like yourself coming down, buying a house or building a house. Um, works for me. Very cool. I I'm I'm hoping they'll let me fly a drone over the solar panels up top. How, how do they treat you? I see all the solar panels up there. You get free electric here? <laughs> no. So he's, they're charging to try to re recover costs on the solar system, basically? Uh, I just I have a refrigerator and a couple of lights. I mean, they, they, they supply lighting, and uh, any electric I use, I have to pay for it. Okay. Free water. How bad's the electric bill here? $8 a month. Is that? $8 a month. That's not bad with a refrigerator and a couple fans. Yeah. No lights, but they got lights out here. Very cool. That's a, that's a cheap electric bill. It's worth having a refrigerator with that. Absolutely. All right.